All right, good morning, everybody. It is the week before Thanksgiving. It's time to move the fig trees into storage. We started to get freezing temperatures pretty steady here. And uh, I didn't want to move them in earlier because it was like 70 degrees last weekend. And I was afraid if I put them in the garage, it'd stay warm and they might start to leaf out again. And uh, sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I've been moving a couple of these trees. Um, if you have them in the garage and they start to leaf out again, it's not a huge deal, except for then when the freeze hits, it'll kill the new growth and it'll set your trees back a little bit. So you want them to stay nice and dormant. So I just use this little hand carrier. Unfortunately, we got moisture yesterday, so these pots are stinking heavy. Um, so it's taking a little bit of muscle power to get them into the garage uh, this year. But we're going to start. Probably won't get them all done today, but at least uh, we'll get a good move on it. All right, I got some of them moved, but it's getting heavy. I'm going to try to use my cart. Tires are flat on it, though, so got to pump them up. We got my city slicker tractor. Let's go wrangle us up some big trees. Alright, all aboard the crazy train. Because you can't even call yourself. A country boy. Let's go. Tractor. All right, we have gotten all the trees moved to the garage. Teresa is working on tidying up the garage, getting ready for storage, and tomorrow we'll fill her up with trees. She is alive. She is alive. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day here. Starting to move the figs in. Going to take a few cuttings, and uh, we'll likely put a couple packs on um, Figbid, Figbid.com, and there goes Fish After Squirrel. squirrel. Um, but uh, Border Soat Negra Ramada. Uh, over here we've got, uh, what was this? This was um, Parajal Ramada. Looks like I could probably get a couple cuttings off of that pretty easily. Trace is over here labeling everything. And then we'll get them put onto Figbid and get the rest of them stored into here for the winter. All right, one thing I wanted to mention, another very important thing to do, label your fig trees as you're putting them in. Even if they're already labeled, it's always good to have a little bit of extra. I'm just using a black Sharpie. I prefer a paint pen. Uh, I forgot to pick one up though, but a black Sharpie works fine. Label it in multiple locations. And that way, hopefully in the spring, you'll avoid having to figure out what's what. All right, we're a little over halfway. Trying to leave a little more space to walk around this year, but I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. Cause I need to leave a little space to get through here. And I'm kind of running out of room. And we still have, what, eh, 15 or so trees to go, maybe a little bit more. Okay, just like that, all the fig trees are in. I left at least a little bit of space to get around to the um, toolbox, so that's it, it's winter. Always a sad day of the year. All the trees are away. It's going to be a while. Hopefully everybody is having an uh, easier time putting their trees away and getting ready. And uh, looking forward to next year. I'll have some winter activities, some winter videos just to keep the channel alive. But uh, for figs, it's pretty much it for the uh, winter. Um, uh, Teresa will probably be posting some fig cuttings for sale. Uh, as always, if you're interested in any fig cuttings, just reach out to me. N-R-A-L-L-E-R-S at gmail.com and uh, usually we can just work out a quick deal and then I can ship them straight to your house as long as you're within the United States. Alright everybody, take care. PA Figs out.